nah, 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 ready for my show. Okay, Tachimachi Taku Tancho. Listen, listen. Nah, 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 ready for my show. Kapuke! Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> what up, what up, guys? Oh, I'm back. What up, Ruben Seaver here? And I'm one to get this off my chest. I just got back from one of the most phenomenal concerts. Oh, from the legendary singer herself, Ado, in her first world tour Wish concert. Oh man, there's a lot of stuff I want to talk about. But, you know, step by step, for this video, basically, as you can see probably in the title, right? This is my impression, my, my first impression. First impression? Whatever, my experience. This is my experience from Ado first concert at the Chicago Bylon Bank Aragon. There's a lot of stuff I want to say. A lot of positive, of course. There's always going to be negatives, too. Uh, I'm going to tell you guys my experience, both positive and negative, and the overall experience, if I think if it was worth it. Spoiler, it is. Yeah. But before we get to it, I do want to tell you guys a little bit about my background. That way you can understand what type of person I am, my expectations, my hobbies. You know, you, you'll understand why I'll point out the negatives when I get there. But also, why I'm so impressed by the positives. So, let's start with my background. So, the background for me, personally, is that I love music. Let's give you the quick rundown. Don't want to go too deep, tell you my life story. I love music. I drop a lot of uh dollary dues on audio equipment i have tube amps i have really expensive headphones really expensive speakers i really like music and hearing auto real life can is really it's different dude it's different experience different expectations oh my god let's not get into it i don't want to get too ahead of myself so that's my background i have a lot of audio equipments I heard Ado through studio headphones, audiophile headphones, things like that, of that nature. Tube amps. I did solid state. I do have some solid state. And man, oh man, oh man. None of them can capture the magic. Magic. Well, tube amp is really close. But <laughs> listen, this whole de that's a debate. But it, it's close. But <laughs> let's not get too ahead of myself. But yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so that's one thing. So I heard Ada through a lot of equipments, high quality equipments, heard her in a very high quality. Live is a different beast, obviously, right? Same thing with classical orchestra if you're into that. Same thing for almost everything, really, right? Even though she's singing through a microphone, of course, it's just the atmosphere is different. But save my impression for later. That's the background me. I really like music and audio equipments. Number two for me, I'm, do I, can I call myself an Ado fan? I really like Ado music. I really like Ado music. I can say that for okay. sure. So yes. the songs I like from Ado, I can say that my top five, it's going to be hard. <laughs> because all her songs are really good. But, you know, if you, and I had to choose my top five, right? Then I guess, let's start with, let's start with number one. My favorite Edo song is Ai Tai Kute. I like that song a lot. I think there's two versions, the original and the piano and string version. Um, I like the piano and string version the best. It's just a Q6 with Edo voice. Dude, you can't beat that. That's the whole reason I like Edo, bro. I love her vocals. If I can hear more of her vocals, you know I will like it. So piano, string version, Ai Tai Kute. Easy number one for me. This is like top of my head. Um, there's also like I made a I made a list last year, and I shared it to like a, a private post or whatever. I might make a video of it. We'll see. My number two is this is like my last year list. I A N no Akuruhi. That's my number two. Number three, where the wind blows. Number four, the Kokoro song, and number five is New Genesis. Those are my top five. My first ever Edo song was Teddy Lloyd and Giga P Odo for the, the producer collab. Two of my favorite producers, really, right? 
So that's how I discovered Edo in the first place. Well, I, obviously, I said that's my first Edo song. So I first discovered Edo because my favorite producer, I followed him on Twitter. Uh, well, now it's called X. I believe it was, I think it was Teddy Lloyd that posted it. They were like, I got a new song coming up with Giga P and the singer is Edo. I'm like, Edo, I never heard of her. And I'm like, ah, let's see how it comes. It can't be bad. Giga P, Teddy Lloyd on the beats. It can't be bad. And then I was waiting and waiting and waiting. The song finally came out. And I was like, all right, let's see how fire this beat is. And then the beat started. I'm like, okay, okay. Yeah, I knew it never disappoint. Let's see how good this Edo singer is. And then she started. I'm like, whoa, what? <laughs> and then it kept going, going, going. I'm like, oh, crap. Yo, this singer, this Edo girl, holy crap, jaw draw. I'm like, dang, she's pretty good. <laughs> Why well, I never heard of her before, holy crap. And then I look at her YouTube channel, and then obviously the controversial Usewa, that's what everyone's talking about. I'm like, I wanna hear that next. And then I heard that, I'm like, wow, holy crap. Subscribed, bell notification, always up to date on the Edo song. And, I want to I want to say speaking of Ada song she did drop a new song during the during the Chicago show that I wish she sung let's not get there remember that's just my background so yeah uh, I like Ada music a lot all the way back from Odo Odo was my first song and ever since I became an Ada fan real love Ada I told you guys both my background my Edo background right I known her since Odo that's my first song fell in love with her music maybe i'm a fan of her since Odo. there you go and uh, um i guess i can let's finally start right let's start let's start my experience of going to the first ever Edo world tour concert her wish so this let's start all the way from the back let's go from december so december i believe it was december right it was it was uh actually let's let's go even further back let's go even further back let's go let's go way further back let's start with october was it october eh, october or september right ado released a video i'll link it in the description below right she released this cute english video she spoke english she talked about how she wanted to do uh, a world tour in america well not specifically she didn't specifically she said that she's very excited to perform at your country that's what i think that's what she said on her cute english video right so i'll link that video in the description below if you want to watch it it's cute i recommend watching it it's you know, it, her english dramatically improves in like less than a year i've watched like anime for 10 plus years and <laughs> she's smart dude that's all i'm gonna say she's smart she's wonderful she's talented i love you ada <laughs> all right calm down all right so she dropped that video and then oh yeah you're gonna do a concert in 2024 in the u.s because i mean come on dude who drops a teaser like that and not commit right like come on right so months months later they announced ada world tour ada world tour it only like, yeah and then they give us a date when they're gonna start selling tickets i'm like yeah and then the little red flag starts right here powered by crunchyroll uh is that a good sign or not i don't know i never went to a concert powered by Crunchyroll. i'm like they can't mess up that bad right and then the day for the tickets to go on sale they're like it's like what was it, the pre-show tickets they're like, all right, here we go. I'm at work, by the way. I'm like, okay, I don't want to take too long, right? I had to do my work, blah, blah, blah. So I'm like, all right, it's time. Oh, stomach ache. Oh, let me go to the bathroom real quick. You know, all that stuff. So, got my phone. I'm like, give me some tickets. And then I, I know which show I wanted to go. I did my research. I wanted to go to multiple concerts. I'm not gonna lie. I was willing to spend multiple airplane tickets. I'm like, oh man, I never been to New York before. I never been to LA before. The Texas one, uh, nah, I'm no, no offense, Texas guys, but 
You know, when you think of America, you think of LA and New York, right? Right, come on. So I've been to Chicago multiple times, so I'm not too hype on Chicago. I'm like, yeah, all right. So, so New York, I'm like, all right. Uh, LA, uh, I had to pick one because you had to line up. And I'm like, I'm gonna do the Chicago one because that's where I'm more familiar with. I have family there. So let's get the Chicago ticket first. And then I could decide later if I wanna go to New York or LA after. So I line up the Chicago ticket. Do, 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 do. You're in line, you're in line. Sold out. I'm like, what? What? Well, it wasn't completely like that first. So it was do, 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 do. I got into the website. I'm like, okay, let me get some tickets. Try to add it to the car. It was like, it, it was giving me errors. So I'm like, what? what's going on? <laughs> and then I'm like, I keep trying to add it. I'm like, refresh, refresh. I'm like, what's going on? And then it was like, nope, nope, nope. So I'm like, oh, I'm panicking. What's going on? And then it sold out. It was sold out. I'm like, no, what's the hell? sold out i was panicking in the bathroom you could hear just anguish scream in the bathroom people probably thought i had really bad diarrhea or something i don't know I'm like, ah! I was screaming going super saiyan bro i swore my hair turned a little bit blonde ah, i didn't know what to do my head my head was filled with oh god what the heck i lined up so early it sold out instantly how did this happen how did this? and then i checked reddit i had to check Reddit. that was my last line of defense everyone was on the same boat they're like what the heck what happened and then some dude was like oh dang bots so first try it was at the riveria theater the chicago riveria theater sold out instantly and then I was like, oh, let me try New York. And then it was like having issues. And then let me, I was like, oh, let me try LA. It was the same thing, issues. And I'm like, what, what's going on? I can't buy a ticket. And then like an hour or two later, I checked again. Obviously New York completely sold out. But then I checked the LA one. I'm like, okay, maybe you could buy the LA one. I'm like, I looked at the price. Does that say $1,000? This, $1,000? what the ticket at uh the riveria was like i don't remember how much it cost at the time i think it was like 20 it was under a hundred dollars it was cheap 10 times less than that la theater ticket and then that's when i realized this is the the resale tickets huh they're reselling it for a thousand bucks <sighs> then i made a decision i really wanted to see this edo concert do I buy their resale tickets? Oh my God. I'm not gonna lie. I bought two resale tickets from the Riveria. I was like, oh my God. All right. And it was like, it was, I bought it. I say the price was about maybe 200 each. I bought it for 200 each. I was like, all right, let me bite the bullet. Cause the prices, it kept rising and rising and rising. And I was like, I'm in panic mode. I was, uh, I was so excited from Edo for the going to the first Edo concert since like back in October 2023 or whatever. She dropped that teaser. I was like, man, I want to be a part of this moment. I want to be a part of her wish, right? For her to go on this first world tour. I was devastated. Look, I wasn't crying. I, I want to go that far. I was devastated. I was dead inside. I was dead inside. I reluctantly bought the resale. I'm like, <sighs> okay. And then I looked at the bank account. I'm like, oh, that's when I started crying. I'm like, oh, that hurts. That hurts my wallet and my soul and my heart and a little bit of my kidney. I don't know why that hurt my kidney. I think something hurts in my side. I don't know what happened. Maybe it's because I was, I was throwing a tantrum in the bathroom stall. It was like, uh, okay. Uh, I may have over exaggerated, right? The story, maybe it wasn't in the bathroom stall. It was more than that. It went, it went back to work. I was, I was still throwing the tantrum, but luckily nobody paid attention to me. So it made me feel a lot better. If they asked me what's wrong, I think I would have felt embarrassed because a grown man, Throwing tantrums, tearing up when I'm going to an Edo concert. 
how am I supposed to explain to them that my favorite singer from Japan I, I, I don't want to even tell them I'm a weeb I'm a closet weeb by the way so they don't know they probably know I have weeb stuff on my phone saver but still yeah yeah devastated get back to the part devastated all that stuff okay so I looked at the reddit post everyone's sad seeing all those sad things on reddit I'm sorry <laughs> Your sad posts make me feel better. Because I'm like, you know, I feel sad. But when I read your post, you sound like you sound way sadder than me. I'm like, you know what? If there's people out there sadder than me, right? It's like saying like, yo, I'm, I'm broke. I'm hungry. All that stuff, blah, blah, blah. But then you look at people, third world countries, way more fortunate than you. Like, at least I got a roof over my head. It's not that bad in the world, right? My life is not that bad. I got a roof over my head and I can still at least eat a day every day or every one or two days, right? Versus someone that having ate, ate for like a week, drinking unfiltered water, sleeping in the mud, right? It's always someone more unfortunate than you. And then make you think a little bit more optimistic in your life. So that's how I felt when I read Reddit. <laughs> they, they sound much more devastated. They sound like it's the end of the world. Like... It's the end of the world. Global warming is taking over. There's going to be a gigantic meteor. Freaking, uh, I don't know this spoilers. I was going to say like a Final Fantasy 7 thing. But, you know, right? Crashing down to Earth. Created a second ice age. All right. That, that's how devastated they felt. And seeing them was like, okay. But then a couple hours, was it a couple hours? I think it was a couple hours later. Or maybe the next day after. They're, they were like, hmm, you know, everyone bought the Edo concert tickets pretty fast. You know what? Let's upgrade the venue. And then, bam, yeah, yeah, Chicago, Chicago, Riveria to the Aragon Theater. Is it called Aragon Theater? Well, it's to the Aragon, right? And then, all right, that's cool. So, we got to upgrade the video in Chicago and went from like, what was the Rivera? I believe Rivera is like maybe a thousand or less, right? Or maybe two thousand or less. But yeah, maybe like two thousand, I feel like. It was a low number, that's all I remember. And then they upgraded to the Aragon, right, uh, venue, which is five thousand, I believe, for the capacity. It felt like more than five thousand people, by the way. But we'll get there when we get there. So five thousand people to the Aragon Theater or whatever, the Aragon venue. So I was like, second chest second chest i got pumped up it's like my 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 life was like here like I was, I was i was partially dead inside like just slaving away at my work i didn't want to think about anything else i'm like i'm just use work as like a it's like a drug or whatever to keep things off my mind i don't want to think about anything else but then i got a notification on like twitter or something and then second chance i'm like you know that that light bar in video games where you're like, like red, like ding 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 ding, and then I took like a heel, it was like, Shh. I was like, yeah, second chance, second chance. So I'm like, okay, okay, this time I got this. And then I texted my sister, right? I texted my sister. I told her the situation. And I'm like, okay, this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna get on the website. I'm gonna get on the website. Don't use two phones. I didn't use two phones. We're going to do only one website. I forgot to mention this part, but when I tried to get the first ticket, I think I got banned. They banned me. They thought I was a bot because I keep refreshing and I got like a second device to try to like get in or something like that because I, I keep refreshing and then they were like IP detected, blah, 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 whatever. And then they banned me. I forgot what website it is, but whoever that website was with the Riveria, uh, F you. You suck. Why would you ban me? I was, what? And then I called customer service, they didn't, they didn't do anything. I was like, oh. All right, but let's, I, I'm glad I forgot it, but I don't know why I just remember it now. But yeah, so I told my sister one device only or they're ban you. And it, she was like, okay, okay. So we both got in the queue. I got in the queue very early. Like when, when, it, when it started, I was like, boop instantly like less than 10 seconds in the queue and I, I'm like all right this time 
I'm in a, a situation. I moved to a different situation, no longer in the work environment. I'm at an environment where I have good bandwidth, good bandwidth speed, good upload speed, right? I'm talking about gigs, right? I'm like, uh-uh, this time I'm making sure I got the speed, I got the equipment, I got the willpower. I'm getting these tickets, right? I already got the tickets, but it's resale value. But I went to buy one more because the reason I bought two, I guess I left that part out too, is I did talk with my sister a little bit. We went back and forth, right? She likes Edo. She's not much of an Edo fan as I am, uh, but she likes Edo. I'm like, I want to convert her. I want to convert her. I want to make her into an Edo believer. <laughs> so I was like, all right, I'm buying tickets for her and her husband, right? Uh, my brother-in-law. I wasn't able to buy tickets for my brother-in-law because the resale tickets was pricey. So I was like, okay, okay, okay. If I can buy the tickets again, but with me, her, right, my sister and my brother-in-law, that's a, that's a happy ending. That way all three of us can go together and experience it together. And then I can convert both of them into an Ada believer, all right? I won't be the only one in the family just screaming, hey, those the best, yeah, right? So, okay, okay. So, I waited, me and my sister waited on the website, and then we popped up. And then I was like, whoa, VIP, three, grab them, I got it. I was like, yeah, it, it felt too easy. I didn't believe it at first. Mom, inside, I was like screaming internally, yeah. But I was like, in real life, oh, is, it, is it done? Screenshot, screenshot, screenshots. Save, just in case something happened and I could, it, it didn't like deny my VIP. Oh, I was gonna, don't fuse, call customers. I'm like, it says right here, VIP come for me. And then I bought, I bought three tickets VIP. And then I'm like, after like two minutes had passed and I was just screaming, uh, eternally celebrating. I'm like, okay, let me tell my sister I got the tickets. She don't have to buy anymore. And then my sister told me, oh, it's sold out. I'm like, what? It's sold out already. What the? It's the they doubled the venue size. How did it sold out that quick already again? And she was like, she waited and well, it didn't sold out. She waited in line. It was like a hundred thousand. Oh, I might be exaggerating. Ten thousand people in queue, and she was like, it's basically sold out at that point. It's sold out. I'm like. I got through. We we clicked at the same time, but I got through. So it's luck based, basically. I was blessed, blessed on that day. It was destined to be VIP. To I was going to the Edo concert regardless. I already bought the resale, but I was destined to be VIP that day with the family. Family, the power of family and luck. Yes. So uh, I celebrated it like VIP, VIP. And then I uh, I told my resale tickets. I had to do a little bit lower than what I bought it because I looked at the price. The Chicago tickets were getting cheaper. And when I read the Reddit post too, I I felt pretty bad. I was like, I, I couldn't sell it at the, the ticket level because I would lose like, uh, dude, I'm broke, man. The, the trip is self cost hundreds and hundreds because i'm taking airplane tickets i gotta think about food expenses i gotta be merch because i know i've been to plenty of concerts i know how much they like to rip you off well no bad word i wouldn't say rip off because we we support the artists through the merchant this is how they make money in concerts so i'm like okay yeah i want to support the artists so it's overpriced but okay okay i'm buying merch i know that's gonna be life savings Psh right there and all that stuff so i was like okay well i'll sell it like basically i think i sold it like 120 something like that resell i'm like all right let's put it up there and then obviously so i, I do i did it through stubhub so did the stubhub and uh boom i'm like okay at least i recoup some funds no not really it's the price of vip so two resale tickets, the one that I bought, what's the price of, no, wait. VIP was 100 more, 200. So I still, it's, it's whatever, right? Wait, I 
don't remember what was the price of vip now that i remember it because i remember my brother-in-law he did ask me how much do those tickets cost right and I, i'm like i don't know i didn't i didn't look at the ticket card i just bought it blind buy because you gotta go fast right so i i, I remember i looked at it i'm like oh wow i did um, it's i think vip tickets one vip ticket was the was the same cost as one resale GA ticket. At least that's why I remember it. I don't remember how much I sold it. I think it was 200 or 300, I don't remember. I think it's because I also bought insurance maybe? I don't remember, but either way, I got rid of those tickets. Let's just leave it at that. And uh, um, I got the three VIP tickets. So we're all set and so. This is like December, by the way, not even concert time one week in december caused all that that storm of depression happiness and excitement and um it's like a it's like a dark souls game right i'm getting destroyed by this boss gatekeeping I'm like, let me see the video content ah, the, the first boss right first boss of dark souls the fat blob the flat blob represent the ticket masters and they're just blocking me i'm like i want to play the game let me throw let me in let me see the Edo concert and the flat blob I'm like no you can't you can't go to the Edo concert uh killed you killed you and then when i finally learned finally learned how the website works not really i just got really lucky after so many attempts uh, got through the first boss entered the world of dark souls but in this case Edo first word tour there we go so that's just one week of december that took a long time right <laughs> so we got there um okay so that's the first that's the ticket section i got my tickets so fast forward plan with my sister and my brother-in-law what we're gonna do in chicago i'm gonna go to wisconsin we hang out at their hometown then go to Chicago, go to the Edo concert, blah, blah, blah. I went to eat ramen, but it was like Chicago is a dangerous place. So let's not do that. All right. So, okay. May plans. What day is it today? It's March. See, I'm just got to rain. Okay, March. There's a arrival in March. It's March time. So now we're in March game day Edo concert i'm like okay let's do it let's get through security <sighs> let's do it i got through security hop on the airplane detroit hop on the airplane wisconsin i made it through head up the fam right call my brother-in-law my sister i'm here they pick me up we chill for a day and um they show me a really good brewery actually I went to like a brewery where they use uh, honey to make everything. They don't just make beer. They make sodas. I didn't get beer because I don't want to get wasted. I don't want to wake up with a hangover. I'm like, uh, all right, before the day of the concert, right? So I got concert. I mean, uh, sodas. Got honey flavor. They, they make they, everything's honey flavored. So I got like a cream soda, the root beer, the lemonade, blueberry lemonade all that stuff and I'm like man this is really good soda all right so I ate the soda I ate a Wisconsin burger that it was a restaurant I think it's called Cobbs or whatever that had like 10 cow statues at the restaurant I don't know what it was like it looked like a coat I was like uh okay and then when we got the food they gave me like a burger huge burger bigger than my hand two hands maybe like this, like this big, it's so big. Well, it's also really salty. So I got the burger, I got a chocolate fudge shake, and um, fries, and a whole bunch of root beer, and sodas, doctor, whatever. It's like a boo like a Dr. Pepper, and drinks, the honey drinks, right? The honey sodas. Boom, first day, I just ate. I ate like a fat king. I am fat though. So I guess just a fat guy, regular fat guy. This is just the every day of my daily life. Eating the entire day. Boom, done eating. We wake up. Let's go, let's go. Concerts and 
So, all right, Wisconsin, Chicago, two hours. Talk about whatever, whatever, kill time for two hours. And then, right, we went to line up at the, the Chicago doors. Um, we are very careful. We didn't want to park in Chicago. Chicago is a very dangerous place, right? If you're not cautious, you will get robbed. Worst case scenario, shot and killed. So we did not park in Chicago. We left the car at the other family, their, their other family. And then we go to, right? We, we Uber to um, the concert. My dumb self, I, I grabbed, I called an Uber. We went there. He dropped me off at the Bylon Bank, like an actual Bylon Bank. I'm like, wait a minute. This is not the right place. He, was, he already went off when we walked out. I'm like, uh, let me look at the map. I'm like, oh, don't. there's more than one. There's multiple areas called Bylon Bank. I'm like, ah. All right, so we walked to a McDonald's for some reason. Um, probably to get, you know, better. Cause you know, calling Uber, you need to be in specific spots for easier time to get people to come towards you. So we go to a McDonald's, we grab a drink. Cause I, I knew it was gonna be a long line. And I'm like, grab a drink guys. It's, it's gonna be a long while. You, you want a drink. Cause I, the one thing I want to avoid, cause this is their first time at a concert. Right, my sister and my brother-in-law. So I'm going with both of them, me, my brother and sister, uh, brother-in-law and my sister. So, uh, my sister went to a concert before, but nothing of this scale. It's not even that big. It's 5K, but that's big to them. All right. It is my brother-in-law first time in a concert, so I, I don't want them to get heat strokes or anything like that. So I make sure they stay hydrated. Make sure both of them got a drink. Uh, then we call it Uber and this time very specific for me. I called in Bylon Bank Aragon and then I like carefully I'm like look at the website. I'm like, okay, this this looks like it is and then we went to the Uber uh, We got there and then the the line Just like just like I remember I was like reading the reddit post while we were in the uber car because I was I was a little bit worried So we went we went there by the time we got there it, It's 4 p.m. If I didn't make the mistake Of going to the other Bylon bank. We got there like 30 minutes earlier, which is 3 30 p.m But we got there at 4 p.m. And then the 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 line was long well, I'm talking about real long someone in uh in a reddit post says like five blocks I was like, oh my God, it was, dude, it's like the, I don't even want to call it the whole city. It's just, it was just a really long line, man. And then I was like, we got VIP tickets. It won't be that bad. And then, <laughs> so I go to the, the front door. I walked awkwardly because everyone was staring at me when I was walking by. They were like, <laughs> I was like, Oh man, can't you guys just look at your phone or something? Why are you guys staring at me? I'm not cutting in line. All right, I just I just want to ask a question to the front door people. So I got to the front door people. I asked them, hey, where is this the VIP story? And then, you know what they did, dude? They, they were like this. They were working, right? They were like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then they, when I asked them, where's the VIP line at? Where does it start at? They smile. And they're like, look for the poster. The sign that says VIP and go that's where it starts and all the way back at the line is where you can line up at I'm like okay thank you so me my brother-in-law sister we go we, I saw the VIP sign. I'm like okay it starts here and then I look down I'm like there's no way there's that many people that got VIP right and then we walk walk and walk maybe a block or two I'm like holy crap that's a lot of VIPs already lined up. What the hell? Dude, the, so VIP doors, they don't open until 5.30 p.m. All right, I wanted to get that 3.30, but we got that at four. So it's like around 4.10ish, cause I had to walk and stuff. So 4.10ish, 4.20, no, 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 4.10ish. Yeah, I remember, 4.10ish. And uh, 
dude there's so many people i would think there was like okay maybe not like a thousand but there was definitely hundreds already in front of me and i know why they're there early some of them are there early because they want the early merch the merch opens at 12 30 and ends at 4 30. so I, I think a lot of them were there for the early merch and they just stayed in line so that means all these Edo fans night that was just vip plus the ga that like stretched miles miles away they all got there since this morning dude and i'm like dang these Edo fans are hardcore holy crap i've been to a lot of concerts and a concert this size it's not even a huge concert too dude this is 5k this is like smallish medium right maybe medium eh, smallish medium on the smallish medium size and dude they're they're treating this like this is a a coliseum concert like they ready they're real ready i'm like wow on a weekday by the way on a weekday some of these guys either have like school or a real full-time job they took off i'm like well obviously yeah of course take off if you're from another state you have to take off but still like they they lined up early 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 morning early morning gets the worm early morning gets the worm and uh i try to go early i usually go like two hours early but dude these guys waited till morning i'm like dang that's hardcore i wonder where they go to the bathroom at <laughs> that's the one thing that wonder in my mind because i looked around i don't see a bottle in their hand i don't see a bottle and some of them don't even have a chair i'm like wow <laughs> where did it? they have strong bladders or something i don't even know oh my god i would be thirsty hungry depressed cold I need to go pee oh my god god all right so we waited we waited two hours and the line was getting longer and longer i'm like i'm glad we came at least two hours early right well because of the little uber mistake it's an hour 30 minutes so while the line was getting longer and longer my sister told me hey i see people walking back and forth and when they come back they have like bags in their hand i'm like oh that's probably the early merch i thought it would be a long line for it and she told me, no, it looks like they are coming in and out quickly. And she's like, maybe I should get the early merch right now. That way I don't have to buy it when we get inside. And I was like, oh, okay, yeah, that's really smart. Good thinking. So I told my sister and my brother-in-law to stay in line, hold my place. I don't know why I said that. I guess I just always wanted to say that. Because <laughs> of course they're going to stay in line and get my place. I have the tickets. They can't go without me so okay so i'll go to the front door and they're like early merch i'm like yeah dude and then i thought in my head why didn't they ask me that when i first asked them the questions they could have told me that way i didn't have to go back and forth but whatever right so i walked in got the early merch uh i bought uh i i could show you guys let's see got a bag needle bag right here so it's a little bit wrinkly but it's okay. Can you see it? Picture of Edo. It's cute. And at the back, there's this Edo First World Tour Wish. It's cute. Uh, I'm a little bit disappointed. This is 25 bucks. It's pretty small. Like, uh, I went to other concerts, I bought a bag from them before. The bag's way bigger. <laughs> it's like maybe the same price too. And this is a uh, 25 bucks. And the material quality, not that good. As you can see this, it's already ripping apart. I just had a day. I, I had a day. It was rainy, it got wet a lot, but 25 bucks, I guess. So I got, I bought the bag, I bought a shirt. Right here, I bought, I bought, I bought myself two shirts and I bought my sister uh, a shirt. She wanted the white one and I bought a keychain for my brother-in-law that he's gonna give to his sister. I, I, I should have bought the keychain for myself. When I saw the keychain, I thought, oh, that's pretty cute. But I, I was thinking I don't need a keychain. 
Then I looked in eBay, keychains worth like 250 bucks. I'm like, maybe because it's worth more, it makes me think, wow, I really want it now. You know, like Jordans? Probably. I got, I wear extra large, I'm a big boy. So. It's that Edo shirt. It's wrinkly too, because I folded it. Okay, I stuffed it in the bag. And um, here's the back. Uh-oh. Can you see him? Okay, cool. The back's like, can you see? It's cool, right? It has like uh, all this stuff. The venues. It says uh, 801st War Tour. Wish. Dude, I'm going to be careful. Mm. It still had that new smile. I didn't wear this one. I didn't wear the white one. Cause I know white gets dirty. I don't think I ever want to wear this one. Cause I don't want to get dirty. So this one I might hang somewhere. Like a trophy or a poster, right? And here's the black t-shirt. The black one's cuter. Cause it has a little chibi Edo. Oh, she's cute. That's the same Edo in the keychain. Right here. Cute Chibi Edo. She's so cute. And then same thing. Edo First World Tour. Wish. And it has the countries. And the dates. 2024. Is it Japan? Oh. Then they include the Japan one. She goes to. uh, Isn't she having a concert in Japan in April? They could have made that part of the World Tour. Just put that on a little print. I don't know why they didn't include it. That's weird. Okay. But whatever. So I bought that. I wanted to buy CDs, but the CD sold out. I was very disappointed. Luckily, I bought CDs already from Japan, CDJapan.com. And uh, I got, I got Edo. I got one of Edo CDs. I pre-order it. I got the Utate Mitai album, right? This is from CD Japan. It's right here. I, yes, I use CDs. Like I mentioned, told you, I told you my background. Right, I really love audio, so I have good audio equipment. In my opinion, CDs is still the highest quality of digital. Well, sack Ds and CDs. To me, it's like, okay. Even though I personally never, I never heard real to real yet. I heard vinyl before at an audio show. Vinyl is amazing, by the way. But, um, to me, I think the quality is like live, right? Real to real. I haven't heard real to real, but I heard amazing things. I heard people say it's better than vinyl. It's debatable. Debatable. Uh, vinyl is up there. CD players. Let's just put them on the same section, right? So it's like live all the way up peak. At the next tier, real to real, vinyl, CD player, no order. Right, and super CDs, right, sack Ds. Um, and then like, I think after that, digital streaming, and then everything else is a toss up. So, I, I love this album, by the way. Utate Mitai, I wanted the first album, but everything was sold out, right? The One Piece one, uh, the first album, even, I think Utate Mitai was sold out. I already had that, so I wasn't butthurt about that. But I was pretty butthurt. Everyone bought. I didn't do. How many people have vinyl? What? I know vinyl is making a comeback like four years or five years ago. So I know people have vinyl. I didn't think that was a lot of Edo fans have vinyl, though. That's impressive. Unless they're just grabbing the vinyl just for show. Well, it might be the digital pressed on wax at the end of the day. I don't know. I don't own the vinyl. But that would be still pretty cool to have one. I was just. Man, I wish I had the CD. So, this is the back. It comes with this too. If you pre-order from CD Japan. It's a cute little Edo. Edo is so cute. Well, at least that drawing. <laughs> We've never seen Edo in real life. <laughs> Her avatar is cute. And they have a poster. I'll, I'll take a picture of the poster and put it right here. But yeah, um, I only got two large, no, oh, extra. Two shirts, a bag, me, 
one shirt for my sister and a keychain for my brother-in-law so yep i wanted a poster too i wanted the poster dang they took the poster i think you could still get like a, a regular edo poster but the world tour poster they all they took it i'm like all right yeah, a lot of stuff was up but it's to be expected right because i came late like the the merch opened at 12 30 and there's five blocks of people worth of people i'm not surprised most of the stuff is sold out i'm just happy to have what i have i should have grabbed more keychains i should have but let's uh let's forget about that one so okay i got the merch go back in line waited waited and then a bus appeared it went around like twice it's an Edo bus and it has a qr code if you scan it it'll lead you to the website i'll link it to below as well and i'll probably post a picture of the bus right here you can see it it's pretty cool i like the bus a lot and everyone just waved their hand took a picture and scan the qr code that was cool and while we're waiting the streets of chicago is vicious there was a lot of uh holy crap i can't believe she made that turn kind of situations a, a a truck full of i don't even know what that was was that gasoline or something like took the entire street both both sides so he could reverse into it was we had the concert at the same area where things are being in construction so it was like oh, okay <laughs> oh, all right yeah all right two hours waited all right i think it's 5 30 p.m vip can finally enter i'm like yeah so we all go in stop by security security scan us to what they did to tell us to take out back they didn't pass down they just tell us hands out of your pocket put everything in there and go through like a metal detector stuff like that and they never pat us down um I, I made it through easy my sister made it through easy and then it got to my brother-in-law well first me and my sister we walked in and we're like all right let's go and then we look back and my brother-in-law disappeared i'm like where did he go he was like it's like a ghost vanishing i'm like was he there with us the entire time or was that a fragment of my imagination so we look for him look for him look for him and by the time we look for him all the vip already went inside so i was like dang we stood there for nothing <laughs> we stood there for nothing i was freaking out like oh dude what the heck because i don't i was flabbergasted he was like right behind us and he disappeared like a ghost and then uh i think my sister found him and then he told us they didn't let him bring the umbrella and i'm like all right they didn't let him bring his umbrella i'm like that don't make sense i i don't know like okay maybe because there might be some wild person that will open an umbrella doing a live performance i guess they don't trust well there is a an audience full of weeds i guess you can't trust them so i'm like okay and before i move on to the story uh let me put this note in here i didn't learn this until after the chicago show because i was reading impressions and stuff because you know the post concert feeling right so i read through the impressions and it seemed like a lot of people had issues as well so with security at that uh that theater whatever it's called aragon final bank aragon venue so security didn't get the memo and they blocked a lot of people glow sticks they told them to set it aside and throw it away or store it for five bucks like where the the venue parking spot at and a lot of people had to throw away their glow sticks unfortunately because like me right they don't want to we wait in line really really early and then you're making us like go back outside and we basically lost our spot in line so yeah it, it's pretty crappy that's one of my negatives right well i'll talk i'll go into more details so yeah they made they made my brother-in-law store his umbrella for five bucks at the thing he had to walk a block away too it's like the parking lot in that cl it's close but it takes a minute to get there it's like man okay that sucks that happened but let's not think about it too much 
Let's just go in. I scanned it. I got the ticket out. Scanning, easy and quick. We got through. And then I looked at the box. Uh, it seemed like a lot of people walked without going, getting their stuff. And it's not like they were handing it out. I looked at a box and I remember if you get VIP, you get a special pin. And I asked them, hey, uh, are those the VIP pins? And they, they, look, they looked up and they're like, oh yeah, yeah, here you go. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, you're supposed to be, what if I didn't ask? I would have never got this. So I was like, oh yeah, my family is also a VIP too. And they're like, yep, here you go. They gave me, my sister and brother-in-law VIP pins. And the VIP pins are really nice looking. Here you go. Can you see it? It's really pretty. I like it. Right? I would like this keychain a little bit, but the VIP pin is prettier in terms of aesthetics. VIP, 80 VIP. Right? Made in China. Still pretty. So we got the VIP pins. That's really nice. Um, right here, I guess. Oh, you can't. Oh, you can't even see anyways too far. We got the VIP pins. I put that in my uh, pocket because I didn't want to slip out of the bag. And uh, they put my phone in that uh, case. And you can't open the case unless the staff, I guess, uh, unlock it for you. I told them, does the case automatically unlock if I walk out? And they told me, no, that I have to go to them so they can manually unlock the phone case. And then I have to go to another section to return it. I'm like, okay, anything for Ada, right? Because I know, right, a lot of people before, you know, our venue, they did have a lot of phone issues still. So they wanted to make sure like it doesn't happen in America because you know America's more excessive on social media. So, all right, I'll go ahead and put my phone in the case and then I'll make sure to look for them so I can use my phone again. It's huge, by the way. That case is huge. <laughs> oh my God, it was, it was like the size of my hand. Maybe a little bit bigger. The reason I'm, I'm complaining about the size is because I had to put that in my pocket. And I'm like, I always get worried it might slip out because it's so huge, it's poking out of my pocket. So I'm like, okay, put that in my pocket. We went to use the bathroom. I, I told them too. I was like, man, I was taking control, commanding them. Because it's like their first concert, at least with this size of people. It's basically their first concert. Because the, in their previous concert that they've been to, they, they sit down. I told them, you don't sit down in a concert. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Don't. No. We are not sitting down on a concert. We're standing up. Okay. And they're like, okay. <laughs> so I told them, we're not leaving. We're no. When we stand in, we're, we're, we're in that ballroom. We're not leaving that ballroom. I don't care. You have to use the bathroom. We're staying in there. Don't lose your spot. So I told them, use the bathroom early. You don't have to go make yourself go. Just pee out everything. Pee out everything. Wash our hands. Um, now we go to the drink section. Because I know it's going to be hot. And like I told you um, earlier in the video or in my story, I don't want them to get a heat stroke. So I go ahead. I, I paid uh, for the waters. They give me, uh, it's called death, liquid of death. I'm like, my HR manager drink this. <laughs> it's just, it's just water. And then my my sister, she was like, what is this? <laughs> I'm like, it's water. It's fancy water. Think of it as Fuji. They're like, <laughs> they were looking at it. They're like, water. I'm like, just open it and drink it. You see, it's water. And they did. And I'm like, oh, it is water. And I'm like, yeah, fancy water. Five bucks for fancy water. And then we stood in line. They didn't know where to stand. I was like, come over here. And I was like, get closer. And you know, because they're they're introverted people, right? They don't want to be too close. So we were like, okay, at least stand there and there. And then we wait. And then they told me, uh, now what? I'm like, we wait for two hours. 
So because we're VIP, we got here at like 5.30 p.m. 6.30 p.m. is when they open GA and 7.30 is when the show actually starts. And I told them, basically, we're going to just stand here for two hours until the show starts. They're like, what? We just stand like two hours before the show. I'm like, I told you there will be a lot of standing. There will be a lot of standing. So I made some small chat. I'm not going to lie. It was really hard talking to them because it, the venue was really loud, right? It's, it's a lot of people already in there. They showed a lot of VIP tickets. And my sister keeps telling me, hey, can we go on the balcony? I'm like, no, no balcony. The floor, I, ch I wanted to get them the best Edo experience because I wanted to convert them, right? Because so sound quality, in my opinion, I want them to have the best sound quality the best in my opinion i like the floor better than balconies usually because the energy is in the crowd that's the whole point of a concert it's, it's it's the music it's both it's the music and the fans right it goes hand to hand at a concert you want to have both the best of both worlds you need the energy from the crowd and you need the music to get the energy going so to me floor is always the best idea for a concert if you want the best of both worlds. So I told them we're staying here. And then she told me, can I get nachos? I'm like, no, no nachos. Cause I don't want her to eat. And then she's going to throw up. And also I don't want to pay for overpriced nachos. Overpriced nachos. No, she, I think she's trolling me at that point. She knew I was heated because right. I was already heated because uh, we were lost a little bit of time and pretty much all the VIPs already lined up at the thing because the, the security made us slow down and we were already standing there for two hours in the cold weather and now we got I know we got to spend two more hours in this loud venue I told him to um, well I'm gonna get to it later but yeah so she's trolling me to make time goes fast and I guess that's pretty cool because it did make time go faster when she was trolling. So we waited, waited. And then I remind my, uh, my sister, and my brother-in-law this, right? Never too loud because it's their first concert. I told them, put this on, put this on. What it is, is it is open it. Oh God. Can I open this? There you go. It's uh, earbuds. What it does is it doesn't affect sound quality. It just lowered the decibel by maybe like 10 decibels or something like that. So the concert won't be too loud and damage their ears because they haven't been to many concerts before. I don't want them to get ear damage and I don't want to ruin their experience and not go to a concert ever again. Cause I, the thing is, I really want them to show, I want them to know how great Edo is. And I want them to also know how great going to a concert is. Because I really, I think concert experiences are fantastic. Right? And I want to share that experience with them. Right? Both of them. My sister and my brother-in-law. So, I want to make sure everything goes smooth. I hope the feet doesn't hurt blah 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 that's why i told him to wear comfortable shoes comfortable clothing don't wear clothes you like to wear it's going to get dirty don't wear shoes you like to wear it's going to get dirty because there will be people stepping on them and please don't get mad when people step on your shoes so that kind of i, I get a lot of warnings and tips before we went to the concert i told them doing the line too so they put on their earbuds right and then my sister saw me not putting my earbuds on she's like why are you not putting on your earbuds and i told them but i told her i'm already deaf so because I didn't know so I'm telling my mistakes so it won't happen to them because I've been to a lot of concerts already and I'm also really into audio that I can get a little carried away and play really loud for a long amount of time for many many years and um, yeah I have uh, I have a little bit of a, a little bit of tinnitus little bit of ear damage so there's no point in me wearing the earbuds well i guess not to go completely deaf obviously but if i put it in it's like it's it, it make things it won't make the experience better for me that's all i'm gonna say 
And then my sister falls to him like, yeah. She took it. I was like, no, put it back on. I told her, no, stop trolling me. Put it back on now. And then I try to get her husband to talk to her to put it back on. And I'm like, I, I forgot what he said. But then at the end of the day, she just took it. She took, she took it off. And I'm like, okay. I hope it's not too loud because the most of the concerts I go to is like metal concerts. Um, yeah, pretty much. And they do play really loud. So I've been to some concert where it's like, it's nice loud, but it doesn't like really, really hurt your ears, but it's still going to give you ear damage because it's, it's over a hundred decibel probably. And you can't listen to that loud for a long period of time. Um, so okay she didn't put her earbuds on so after hours of trolling me <laughs> feeling <love> my blood, <laughs> she did good though right i'm glad she went with me because standing there alone would have sucked because i would be focusing on my leg pain for standing for hours and hours a day and stuff and uh, that would have sucked i'm glad i went back to the gym too i haven't been to the gym in a while because of uh you know a lot of people got sick and stuff and I lost a little bit of motivation. But before the Edo concert, I went to like, I should get back to the gym. And then one week I got back, I'm like, oh, I'm almost back to myself already. That was pretty quick. So I'm glad I built up leg strength because I needed it at that concert. So two hours standing in line, two hours, well, not two hours, like an hour and a half. And then uh, two hours waiting for the show to start to start playing to intermission, right? They were playing all night radio, right? I noticed that, I was like five seconds, I'm like, what's this song? 10 seconds, I'm like, oh, it's all night radio. That's what I told my sister. And you're like, and then the funny thing is like the entire crowd, they like say, they're just, they try to sing along, they're like, dun, 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 dun. I forgot how the song go. Like, and then when they, when the, when the chorus hit, everyone like, it was, everyone like mumbling, you know, you know, like mumble rappers, right? Everyone's mumbling. You're like, because it wasn't too sure they're supposed to say it. So <laughs> I was like, wow, this is an awkward audience. Ah! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so we 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 awkwardly sing only the English parts of all night radio. It was funny. And before that, I, I forgot about this part while we're waiting. Like sometimes a girl would scream and then everyone scream. I'm like, what is the show starting? And then it was like false alarm. I'm like, oh my God. Oh my God. <sighs> I've been to a couple of concerts before, but this is my first time going to a concert full of weebs. No offense. I am a weeb, right? I don't know how it is. I'm a closet weeb, so, but <sighs> it's, it's pretty awkward. That's all I'm gonna say. There's a lot of awkward people, for sure. But it makes it funny. I find it funny. I find it funny and charming in his own way compared to other concert. Other concert, there's like everyone drunk uh, and obnoxious, right? This one is, uh, this is nice, right? They're awkward, but they're fun. It's awkward, but fun. Does that make sense? I guess. But yeah. Um, there might be some drunk people out there in the concert, but I feel like a lot of people didn't drink because, I mean, it's overpriced and it's kind of hard to move around in the crowd. Dude, they stack us like sardines. I think they oversell the tickets. Everyone was smushed together. Everybody. Everyone smushed together. So I think uh, at least we have some space to, like, kind of move our arms, kind of, but not too much, not too much space. So yeah. So yeah, they were playing the all night radio intermission, and then I think they play the Kokoro song, or yeah, probably one of that Kokoro. And I gotta, well, I can't listen back. It's the concert, but they were playing like two or three songs intermission, no lyrics, just musical instrumental, and then the show went black. <laughs> show went black. The music started, and then Ada just come and singing. She didn't even say hi. She didn't say anything. <coughs> Need water. My voice is a little bit dead from the concert, so. 
Um, yeah, she, she just came in. Like, I didn't... I think the... Did the drummers, the drummer, the, the keyboardist, the guitarist, was there a bass player? I don't even remember. Dude, the stage was black, right? Dark, pitch black. So when the lights came down, everything was darkness, right? And you can see a silhouette, you can see the Edo cage. The Edo vision, whatever you call it, right? You see the cage in the middle. So let me describe the cage before we get started. So the stage is a little bit elevated, right? So we look up. That's one thing I really like. There's a couple of small venues that don't do that and that's really annoying against short people because if you get a tall dude in front of you, you can't see, right? But because to elevate it just a little bit, right? Not even a little bit, like a, a decent amount, you could see even if it's a tall person. You probably can't see 100%, but you can still see because it's still elevated, which is nice, right? I like that. Uh, I got a good view of 802, so I'm pretty happy on my position. And then, uh, all right, getting back to the show starting. Pitch Black, 80 came in, started singing. I believe it was New Genesis when she started. Everyone screamed. Ah! Everyone freaked. Every, the whole room just went from like, da 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 da. And then the, the lights went down. They're like, quietness. 80 came in, started singing music playing. Ah! And everyone just exploded. It, 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 the whole room, the whole venue exploded. Sardines, 5,000 plus people. It was, that was quite an opening. And then when she finished the song Genesis, uh, New Genesis, I believe Usewa was next. And then the hype, the hype just keep going and going and going. That's one thing I liked about the concert. Like, uh, yeah, it, it, that was a really, really nice start. Really nice start <coughs> to the concert. Dude. I scream a little bit, and now my voice is dead again. All right. So, yeah, really nice start to the concert. She played a couple of sets. I won't go into details, because uh, honestly, my mind, like, blacked out, right? Because that was pretty fun. But what I remember from the concerts is... Like when she does a set, she do like one, two, three, maybe four songs at a time. When most, mostly like three songs, honestly. And then she'll take a break. And then it's like a blue box, the the cage, the Edo cage will turn blue. And then I don't, what's their music playing? I think everyone's just chilling. And then I would like talk to my sister sometimes. And then we'll just wait. I'll take a sip of that liquid of death. And then she comes back with a set. And then repeat. I think that's pretty awkward. Like, uh, I get it. Because the way Edo sings, you definitely need a break. There's no way you can sing continuously like that. But I feel like this should be like... Someone needs to MC when Edo is taking a break. I think... I don't know. I think the blue box is pretty awkward. It's a it's an awkward intermission, or maybe play like a yeah I get I don't know I don't know how they would do it, but honestly the intermission is not that long. Maybe like a minute. It's very short. It's like a minute intermission, and then she just goes straight to the new song. She doesn't like waste her time talking to uh, the crowd. She'll just go straight into it. Like the music will start playing, and then she starts singing. That's how it goes. So yeah, so it, it happens. A couple of sets and then there'll be one set where she actually takes a break everyone takes a break and then she'll talk to the crowd um, she talked to the crowd I don't remember too much what she says she's like I hope you're having fun at my concert uh, I'm glad everyone come some some things like that and she said yesterday I ate um, chicken and pizza and then the crowd was like yeah Pizza, pizza, pizza. Everyone's chanting pizza, pizza, pizza. Holy crap, that was amazing. It made me want to eat pizza after that. So, Ado mentioned she ate chicken and pizza. And I don't remember what the heck she talked about after that. All I remember was chanting pizza. And then we go back into the music again. So, a lot of the set playlists is... 
you can probably find it in a website there's a website i'll probably link in the description below um let me go here no moron i want to talk about this you guys can't see it but she did release a uh a playlist before a world tour uh, she played a lot of the songs from there let me see i gotta make sure uh mic still works okay yeah she played a lot of songs from there um the only thing uh the one songs i know for sure she didn't play from that playlist is chocolate kata bra and this is in the chicago video by the way she did not play chocolate kata bra kata bra that's that's that makes sense because that song just came out in february she did not play excuse me she did not play unravel did she play unravel i don't think she did correct me if i'm wrong i think i would have remembered her playing unravel she did not play unravel which is a little disappointing uh she didn't play uh it's the other song that i really like let's see you know what song i really like crimes and punishment i would love if she played crimes and punishment but she didn't so she didn't play that either that's okay she didn't play did she play gita gita i think i dun, 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 dun. I don't think she played Gita Gita. I don't think so. Did she play Ready Made? I think I would have remembered that too. She probably did. I feel like she did. I feel like that song's iconic. Nah, not really. It's one of her older songs. It would make sense. She didn't play All Night Radio, unfortunately. Only the intermission. She didn't play I'm a Controversy. I think I would have remembered that. Um and i'm glad she didn't play this one though she didn't play show by jack's Joan remix i love show don't get me wrong jack's Joan remix ain't it i'm gonna be honest that's not it she also played some other songs too that surprising was there uh like yoru no periat uh remix is not on the playlist uh, album whatever but she played that she played another song i forgot uh but everyone's like Waving their hands on it. Uh, let me see if I can pull it up real quick. Look at the set list. <sighs> loading, loading, loading. What was it called? Uh, yeah, Stay With Me. Stay With Me. That was pretty nice. Dude, one of the thing is... Uh, dang, why did it take people glow sticks away? Now make me want to rant on that. Oh man, it would have been so much better with some glow sticks. People doing that. Oh man. And then, you know, alternative? I know, I know, no cameras, all that stuff. I wish people was well behaved. Unfortunately, we can't trust them, right? So we have to do either no phones at all. Yeah, just no phones at all, right? You can't trust them. But right so for other concerts when they don't have glow sticks like i remember i went to odyssey concert and that was amazing right odyssey's i recommend going to a concert i don't know if they're going to do any more concert for them but in one of the songs they they grabbed their phone put on the flashlight and we all did this that was that was cool we we did not have any source of light no glow sticks no phones so we all just wave our hands like this it was still cool but i think a little bit of light would made it i think that would have been a sight to behold and that wouldn't i think that would have made ado feel a little bit happier because then she could actually see how many people is there to watch her perform because when i was at the odyssey concert the odyssey concert is at uh the pnc in north carolina and that had 20,000 people. And when 20,000 people put up a light and I looked at them, I'm like, wow. I'll probably put a picture too, right here, so you can see. But it was like, wow. Right. Oh, let me go back. What else? Let me actually look at the playlist. What else? They play Yoru no Periat 
remix. They played that twice. Yoru no Peria, the original. Yoru no Peria, uh, remix. What else did they play? Wait, what? The set list does not include Yoru no Peria original. I could have sworn they played the original, but maybe I'm tripping. Oh, they did play Gita Gita, I guess. That's what it says. I could have sworn they played that, but whatever. And then they also played Zamon Sakura. That was, oh my God. I don't want to, I don't want to get to that part yet, but yeah, there's some songs that was in the, that's they, they played that wasn't in the set list. So, um, let's see. I have like a little note. So that way I remember what the hell I'm talking about. I am, I am uh, a little bit of uh, forgettable. A goldfish, you might say. So I talked about the songs, the playlist. Where am I at? Oh, where am I at with the story? So I guess I talked about where we did this. Let me see. Okay. So okay. So when the Edo performance, you know, got through, we got to the other half. Edo was telling people that well she said it's gonna be my last song right she said something thank you for watching something like that and then she spoke english by the way yo Ado english it got a lot better she spoke in english and she did she spoke japanese and english but i heard in the european concert that she tried to speak english but she like she fumbles a lot and she goes back to just speaking Japanese. But in the Chicago venue, right? She spoke English really good, start to finish. She spoke English. I could understand her, right? It's not like a, oh, even if she did have an accent, I think I would still understand her because I mean, I'm Asian and um, I, I grew up with people with thick accents trying to speak English. But my point is, her accent's not even that thick. She doesn't even, she, she had good English. She had good English. She spoke good English. You can understand her clearly. And uh, I forgot what was going with this. And then she spoke Japanese. And then she said, this is going to be the last song. She played show. It was good. I liked it. And I, I wish it was better. I'll get to that part later. I'll talk about either performance later. So, and then lights out. And then everyone knows, right? This is the part where they, they the artist pretends say, oh, thank you, bye bye, right, all that stuff, and then everyone like, all right, encore, encore. Everyone knows is is to be expected. Everyone did encore for five minutes. Dang, dude, the difference. So I want to talk about that later. I, a lot of people say this is their favorite concert ever, and. I'll, I'll get to that later. The encore could, the encore could use work. I think I'll, 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 I'll rent, I'll rent, I don't even want to call it rent. I'll say my, my piece later. The encore, like I said too earlier, this is a pretty awkward crowd, right? So the encore could use work, but they did pretty good. They tried to do encore, 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 encore. So Edo came back with one more set and they just played the music, backlight, backlight opening, right? She opened with black, uh, backlight and she go to, that was exciting. Like, yeah, she's going to do one more set. Woo! And then she went to Zemba Zakura. I was like, I, I was like, yeah, I was like, nah, I, w I was already jumping, right? And like getting pumped with the crowd. Right, but this got me. I felt like Michael Jordan. Oh, slam dunking! Ah, oh, we're jump. I, I jumped real high. I got super excited for Zenmon Zakura. My legs hurt like hell. I could feel it, but I, I just can't stop myself. I kept jumping and jumping and jumping and jumping. I'm like, yes, let's go. So, at this Zenmon Zakura, they play Freedom, I believe. Freedom. And then, what was the last song? Well, was there a song after Freedom? I don't think so. And then after Freedom was Odo. So those those four songs were the last sets. So, 
and that was cool right the performances start to finish was good um i'll critique later let's not get too ahead of myself so my favorite song from the concerts was i like ashurachan ashurachan um what's that my favorite maybe i like that song a lot and concert vibes right and concert atmospheres i like ashurachan a lot because a lot of people sing with her everyone knows when to dance at that song and the song is like it's always it's hype it's a hype song the everyone dancing the whole crowd singing really good same thing with freedom like when she say what oh and then the crowd guy say what oh and then repeat after repeat after ada that was amazing because she actually got the whole crowd to do it too because you know that's one tough thing about japanese artists in a uh foreign environment as a lot of people won't know japanese a lot of people won't sing in japanese and if your lyrics is in japanese it's not a lot of uh sing-alongs right and i like i mentioned earlier in the story the whole point of a concert is the energy of the crowd and the songs the song pumped the energy to the crowd so it goes hand to hand right it can't be just good song with no energy with a dead crowd and it can't be like a hype crowd without a good song because then the crowd can't get hype without a good song so yeah freedom and ashra chan it got everyone dancing and singing that's why those two are my favorites of the concerts those two songs specifically i like simon zakura because that's my song i think i'm everyone got excited in the beginning but died a little bit in the middle but me I was, yes 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 because i love that song dude love that song so yeah um that's probably my third which is odd because that's not my it's not my favorite songs my favorite songs if i had to pick from the set list like offline not not live like uh no way offline online well, man that's not a good word to use my favorite songs that i like to listen to on my equipment there you go is i like Edo. <laughs> yeah i like Edo. Odo, Odo, Show, and uh, I really like Motherland. Motherland is really good too. Motherland from the top of my head. What else do I really like? Uh, I told you I like the Kokodo song. That's my top five. That was pretty good live too. Even though it didn't like hype up the crowd and get everyone dancing, everyone like sway. Well, not. I talk about that later. That it's like all right. But I wanted everyone to sway, right? But everyone's like, and I'm like, man, it'd be cool to just sway. And then it'll, it'll be, you know, the Kokoda song would be good for like the lights too. I think that'd be a good one for the lights, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, you, basically, what I thought would be good live. It ended up not that impressive live. I wouldn't say that. I would say it, it was pretty good still, but not as good as I thought it would be. I think that's what I want. I think it's partially because of the crowd, right? Like like I said, if the crowd can get into it, it makes it easier for you to get into it. But if the crowd can't get into it, then it makes it harder. Because I wanted everyone to really, really dance on Odo and show <clears throat> but not a lot of people dance for some reason and that was kind of uh, disappointing but for some reason with Ashra and freedom yeah that got everyone pumped up everyone got excited and danced with it at least the people around me right so that was that was fun um well I so I named my favorites right I told you about the show all that stuff so i guess we can talk about what do we want to talk about first the crowd or edo so edo performance man this is a really long <laughs> story so man this is a really long story okay so edo performance right edo performance is it was amazing dude edo performance in the beginning amazing 80 performance in the middle 
really good, not as amazing as how she started. Ada performance at the end, she got tired. You could tell, and it's understandable. This is her first world tour, her first world tour. And she did multiple countries, multiple, before she got to Chicago. She did, she was just in New York the other day. So she started in Bangkok, Taipei, Hong Kong. Um, dang, I, it's hard to name everything. But look at this, dude. She was in Asia in February, the entire February. And then like a little bit, like a one week break maybe. And she's probably on an airplane too. She's not really taking a break. She, she was in Europe, right, for the half of March. And then like maybe a one week break again. She was in New York. She was just at New York two days before Chicago. And it, it's understandable, dude, right? She's tired. Dude, yeah, she's amazing. Oh my God. She's, a, that's, I think that's impressive, dude. She did all that and she could still sing the way she sung in the beginning. I was like, wow. And you know, the way she, she sings too. So she doesn't sing exactly like how it is recorded, right? In the, and how you in the official songs, right? She adds that ah, she, she she add the notes. She held it in like she held the notes longer. She know what the people like. She gave you the Edo experience, right? She gave you her famous iconic Edo scream for every song. Well, almost every song. So for there's a couple songs, right? Like the the slow songs like Kokoro and um the Stay with Me songs, obviously. But she screamed in every song, added notes, and all. She's she's amazing, dude. And whenever she screamed, everyone got hyped. She knows what the people want, and she's gonna give her fans what they paid for, cause she's awesome. So it's understandable that her voice was giving out near the end of the songs, like in the end of the sets. But that's okay. Because there were hype songs like Odo, Show, uh, Senma Zakura. The instrumental could carry for sure. And speaking of instrumental, guitarist, guitarist dude was amazing. Everyone let the keyboardist, keyboardist was cool, right? She went, she went wild with Edo, swinging her hair like a, like a metal concert. <laughs> Drummer was cool, I guess, right? I really don't remember a bass player. Usually there is a bass player that's going to be like a, a drum set. And a guitarist, right? An electric guitarist. But I didn't. I don't remember seeing a bass. There was probably a bass player somewhere. Um. Yeah, her performance was amazing. It wasn't consistent. She was. Uh, her voice was given out at the end. Recap. But her dance moves. Oh my god. I felt like her dance move got better. I've seen her in live concerts before. At least clips of it on YouTube. And I felt like she was pretty awkward in movement, right? She was pretty awkward in movement in like her first concerts in Japan and stuff. I didn't see um, any clips, thankfully, right? Because you're not supposed to record no pictures during the concert. Man, why am I tearing up? What the heck? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, man. Um, I'm remembering the Edo performance. That's why I'm tearing up. Dude, she's... Oh, my God. She's a goddess. Oh my God. She's amazing in real life, man. Like, like I told you when she was amazing through the first set, when she gave it her all, holy crap. She's on another level. But then because she like tried, you know, like how you run a marathon, right? You don't sprint at the beginning or well, you get tired at the end, right? You, well, I guess you might sprint. I'm not, I'm not a runner, but I think you'll like, you use a little bit of energy, like jog or whatever, and then sprint, jog, sprint, jog, things like that. But she she came out the door running, all full force of her her performance. She came in with a hundred percent, and because she, no, a hundred fifty percent, dude. I felt like she put extra extra effort. She came in a hundred fifty percent, but fortunately she couldn't keep that consistency, so she did her voice did give out a little bit near the end. But like I said, luckily, good instrumentals at the end, so it did cover for that. But because my favorite songs were near the end of the sets, that what makes it a little bit disappointing. Because Odo, 
Ah oh, man, I I would love to hear Odo on her 150%, right? I would love to hear uh show 150%. That would be cool. She nailed it on Freedom though, right? I felt like she nailed it on Freedom. Freedom was really good. And and one of my other favorite songs, I forgot to mention this one, because it's not really an Edo song, it's a Vocaloid song. Um, Aishite, 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 that song, she did really good too. I feel like that song, she did like, I think she did like a break, and then she did Aishite, 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 and then she took a break right after. Oh, it's understandable. That song took a lot of her. Dude, she's impressive, dude. Edo's. Hey, I love Ada. She's good. So, Ada performance, hey. I think overall she's amazing. She's amazing, dude. Hey, even though she couldn't finish strong, she she nailed it really good for like the first half for sure. And even like near the end, she did nail one song, right? Freedom. I think she did really good with Freedom. Freedom was, uh, it exceeded my expectation on that one. I think because of the crowd, right? Like I told you, my favorite songs of the show was Ashura and Freedom. Because the crowd helped sing along on that song. It really helped her out. I told you, it's a hand-in-hand -hand, uh, relationship for concert. It's the fans and the crowd. I wish... You know what they need? They need an Edo fan club. But they do. They have one, right? At least in Japan. But what's that? I'm thinking about another band. Do they have an Edo fan club? There's a couple of artists that have a fan club in the website. But you pay like a Patreon thing or whatever. And that's where all the fans like talk to each other, all that stuff. We need an Edo fan club and put them up front. Because it's monkey see, monkey do situation in concerts. A lot of these, uh, a lot of the people that attended, this concert is the first time going. They don't know what to do. They don't know how to get hype. So they just copy whoever doing whatever, right? So if there's good people in the front row doing, you know, the correct fist bump, getting hype, know the right cues to when we jump and dance and know the lyrics to the song and start chanting, right? And do the clap chants, all that stuff. If we can get those people in the front row, everyone in the back row is going to follow, and it's going to be, everyone's going to have a good time. <clears throat> Unfortunately, it's like a mixture. I feel like one side sometimes, you know, they communicate, they get it, and then sometimes one side, like, don't do anything. It's, I told you in the beginning, it's an awkward audience, but it, it's, it's the charm. It makes it funny, and uh, I guess charming, whatever you want to call it. So that's gonna get to my next topic is the crowd. The crowd, it's a mixed feeling. There's some people that just stood there, right? And watch, but they don't know what to do, right? It's their first concert. I can't blame them. When I went to my first concert, I'm not gonna lie, I had me. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I jumped too, I'm not gonna lie. That's what I did. But. A lot of people, yeah, a lot of people stood there. They didn't know what to do. And then at near, near, like in the middle, they start moving a little bit. And that got me happy. I, I, I smiled. Well, I was already smiling because Edo there. But it made me a little bit more happy inside. Because at, at the beginning, they were like, but then in the middle, they're like, and then they start smirking. Oh, I see this. I see their faces. I'm like, yes, that's cool. So, yeah, the crowd improves. They were a little bit awkward in the beginning. They improved in the middle, and then they got they got pretty hype at the end. So that's cool. That's cool. Um, I'm glad there wasn't a mosh pit where I'm, I am at. I'm glad. I hate mosh pits, dude. Mosh pit is basically a fight, right? Where everyone just swinging their arms and then pushing each other. That's a mosh pit. I'm glad there was no mosh pit at Edo concert because that would suck. No one likes... Okay, maybe I should rephrase it. Some people do, but come on, man. Don't do it in front of Edo. 
she doesn't want it. I don't know. If she doesn't. Want it. I don't know. You know, but come on, man. Hey, I don't want it. So I'm glad that didn't happen. And there's a lot of polite people in the concerts, right? When people try to get through, they let them through. There was no get back in line. This is my spot. And like there, I went to a couple of concerts where there are aggressive people. Where if you like try to cut in front of them, or you try to push, you know, like squeeze through to see a homie, they wouldn't let their their, their guard and they push you and they get violent. I didn't see any of that in Edo concert, and I'm impressed. That's why I said you guys got some charm because even though you're kind of awkward, right? I'm awkward too. Don't get me wrong. Right? I know what weebs are i am one you guys are nice i like that all right nobody want to go to okay i shouldn't say nobody like i'm talking for everyone but i personally wouldn't like going to a concert with aggressive people right going concert full of nice people is nice it's nice dude i'm glad there's nice people going there's a lot of nice people i think everyone's pretty nice at least the one that i met so there was a lot of cool people around. So that's one good thing. Uh, what else do I want to talk about about the crowd? Uh, because there was a lot of people first time going. I feel like the energy, energy was good. Maybe because it was 5,000 people. I'm comparing 5,000. So my last concert was Odessa back in, um, dude, that was a long time ago. Like last year in June, that's like almost a year. Was that my last concert? That was my last concert, non-classical orchestra related. Yeah, Odessa at North Carolina. I think it's called the PNC, whatever venue. See, I'm comparing it that to the Edo concert to a twenty thousand dollars, probably way more obviously, but twenty thousand person uh, capacity. So when they wanted an encore with Odessa. Holy crap, dude. Dude, Odessa. Let me get this out the way. Odessa is probably one of my favorite concerts of all time. Probably is. Dude, that concert. That concert can't be touched, dude. Like, I'm not even an Odessa fan. Alright. I love Ado way, way, way more, but I can't deny. Those guys. Holy crap. They know how to put on a show. And Odessa fans. They know how to, they know how to get people hype. Like, holy crap. When they did Encore for Odessa, it was 20,000, probably more. They always sell more than the capacity, I feel like, with venues. Because they squeeze everyone in like sardines. Like, dude. When everyone screamed for Encore, they screamed for like five minutes. Like, my ears was giving out, oh, like, oh, 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 oh. and I, I was like, holy F, holy F, oh my God, that was intense. I'm comparing Edo Encore, Edo Fans Encore, to Odessa Fans Encore, and that's not fair. They had 20,000 people. This is 5,000 people. And the encore was light, in my opinion. I feel like, dude, Eidos, Eidos fans. Eidos fans, dude, scream. Scream your heart out. Scream your heart out. Don't just say encore. Just say, Eido, 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 Eido. Dude, scream Eido, Eido. Right? I want the whole venue to shake from everyone saying Edo. That's what I want. I didn't get that. I felt like the encore was very weak. Not Edo performance. No, no, no. Don't get confused with that. Edo performance encore, she delivered. Edo delivered. She did. She did above and beyond. But the fans, Edo fans, maybe next year when they're more experienced, right? Next year is when the Edo fans are more experienced. We'll get we'll get that real 
encore that will shake the venue and make sure Ada will never forget us. When we scream her name, when, whenever Ada will come back to Chicago, I want her to remember that encore when everyone scream her name. That's what I want. Maybe next time. Um, I also noticed this too. I feel like a lot of the female fans of Edo were more into the concert versus the male fans, right? That's me being, uh, was, is this stereotyping? I don't know. But I feel like, the you know, the girls are way more into it, right? Uh, excuse me. A lot of the dudes are like, right? They just stood there. But like I said, they got better in the middle, in the end, because everyone started dancing and stuff. So for there was a there was a I was like near a purple hood dude. He was cool. He was cool. And then in front of me was like a really short girl with a glow stick. I don't know how she sneaked that in. She got a glow stick in. And then it thought to my mind too, if everyone had a glow stick, <coughs> that'd be way cooler, right? Because she. she she did a lot of stuff with the glow stick. It was pretty cool. Like she did the heart thing. She she did this, that, and then she was doing the world. I'm like, I wonder if Ada's looking at that glow stick. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man. What was I going with with that? I don't remember. Oh yeah, I guess I was talking about the how the crowd was. The crowd is nice, but we could use some work on getting the the arena hype i guess um an Edo fan club would be a good step if she does make a world tour we all should coordinate with each other make an Edo discord if she doesn't have an official fan club you can make a discord get everyone dressed up Edo fans lock and loaded with the glow stick hopefully security won't take it away i think it'll make the concert experience way way better it'd be like japan Right? We could be like the Japan dudes. Maybe. I don't know. That'd be cool. But yeah, the crowd could use work. Edo, amazing. Especially in the beginning. Uh, her voice would give out a little bit near the end, but still, it works out. Because the instrumental is still hype. So we cover the performances, the crowds. Let's talk about the venue next, right? So, venues. Venue, in my opinion. I don't like the uh, Aragon venue because there's a lot of issues with it, right? From the security, from handing out the swag, from um, the sound quality, dude. The sound quality wasn't good. I'll be honest. Edo herself, she will always be amazing to me. But I wish it was a little bit, I wish it had a lot better clarity. I felt like the clarity wasn't that good. Uh, room was definitely echoey, but that's how it is, you know. But I feel like it was a little too echoey because it's a ballroom. They don't really have good, there's no real room treatment except for at the end near the bar. Because usually for room treatments, don't use my room as an example. I, I'm going to redo everything. I don't like foams. Foams is good and cheap, but um, room treatment, right? You want to treat the reflections, reflections, the floors. We can't treat the floor, obviously, because, um, well, you could. And then you got to treat the ceiling. You got to treat all that stuff. So I feel like. Yeah, the overall sound quality of the ballroom is not good. Not good at all. Um, thankfully, Edo voice does overpower the music because it's Edo. And I came here for Edo anyway, so I'm okay with that. Um, I feel like her mic quality isn't as good as I wish it was. But it's nothing you can do. I wish they gave her a better equipment. Maybe if you go to her mother, that's why I want to go to Japan for a concert for Edo. Because then she could, I feel like they treat her better in Japan, right? They, they give her a better mic, give her better equipment. Hopefully they do. I hope they do. 
And they gave her better venues, obviously, right? So, uh, what else? One thing I do like about the sound and uh, the Aragon venue is the sub bass does hit when it hits, like Top Musica. Top Musica, I believe, has sub bass and it hits. So when the, when the music has sub bass, it was pretty good. It sounded really good too. Impressive, right? Because the room's not treated. You'll think, oh, bass going to sound muddy, sloppy. Bass sounded pretty good when it hits. But everything else is like kind of not that good. Um, What else? Oh, the lights. Ah, The light shows could use work. Sometimes it blinded me. Okay, a lot of times it blinded me. I don't know why. It like is a sh you just see lights and your entire vision is filled with that one color of light that's blinding you. Her light shows was pretty cool. I feel like the light shows a lot cooler if you're not near the front. Maybe you're like in the middle. So that means the GA audience. I feel like the GA probably had a better view of Edo. Right? I think this is like one of those times where you don't want to be too close. I feel like that's probably part of the issue for me. It's because I have VIP, so I was closer. I could see Edo up close, but the light show was like, it was not my friend. I would just say that the light show was not my friend. So that was distracting a couple of times. Um, they had a cool background, like a music background. Uh, Video visual background, I should say. They got cool visual backgrounds. You can see the Edo cage, and then uh, obviously you can see the silhouettes of the the uh, band members too. You can't really see anyone's face. It was pretty hot in the venue. That's to be expected. What else do I want to say? I think. Oh yeah. Um, leaving the venue was a pain. So entering the venue was okay, right? We had a little bit of a hiccup. Leaving the venue, that took, that was the longest time I ever left a, uh, a concert. Like I never waited that long to leave before. I'm like, what's going on? Why is it taking so long to leave? Everyone just standing there, getting hot, getting angry. <clears throat> I think uh, there was some people that passed out too, unfortunately. They probably lack of hydration. That's why I told my, my sister and brother-in-law, I'm buying you guys water. You guys gonna need it. Cause it was hot as hell in the venue. Okay, not as hell. It was still pretty, pretty humid and warm. And I'm sure there was people passing out. I mean, there were people rushing. It's like, get out the way, get out the way. We need to go, 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 go. And it was like, what the hell's going on? And then they brought a stretcher, stuff like that. Like, oh crap, man, what happened? And then there was a couple of times where people had to call security. I saw that when exiting the venue, right? They call security on somebody. I'm like, what is going on, man? This Chicago, right? Or it's just concert, right? And everyone's like waiting to get down. We're on the second floor. So we had to climb up the stairs to get to the ballroom. So I guess uh, a reason why it took so long to leave is because we had to go downstairs. Everyone try not to fall and trip and kill each other going downstairs to the floor. And then here's the thing too. Everyone had to get their phones unlocked and they had like not a lot of people, right? Uh, I saw like three. What, they're probably, I hope there are more, but I only saw three people like unlocking everyone's phone, like 5,000 people plus phone. Come on, man. So I, that's a, that's probably another reason why it took so long. Everyone got to get their phones unlocked. Everyone got to get through the, the stairs. And then when we finally got outside, it was pouring wet. So me, my sister, and my brother-in-law, we ran in the rain towards McDonald. And McDonald dining was closed. So we call it Uber and go home and eat instant ramen noodles at home. So yeah, that's uh that's the experience of the venue. And I would say this too, what I noticed, I'll share it to you guys too. Like closed venue versus open venue. And what I mean by closed is a closed building. 
like the venue is inside the building it has a roof and walls it's closed right you have to like enter in the building to get to the venue oh that does not make sense let's just say that it has a roof and walls that's the closed venue closed venues and then the open venues like it doesn't have a roof it's like outdoor it's basically okay that's a better i guess i can say it indoor versus outdoor venues outdoor venues will always sound better to my ears versus indoor venues because you don't need room treatment <laughs> in the in the outdoor venue because there is no walls causing reflections right and there's no base build up anywhere it's open everything's open so if you want high high quality in a concert high audio quality you have a better chance of hearing high fidelity audio in an outdoor venue versus an indoor venue. Indoor venue, you gotta really trust the person that got the venue, know what they're doing. Some, no, not sometimes. A lot of times, the venue, the music venue, wasn't built with music in mind. Like, uh, one example is like, uh, I forgot the Japanese. It was a Japanese venue that was like, it's for the Olympics, but now they use it as a music venue. It's like that one. Or obviously like a ballroom ballroom wasn't supposed to be a a uh, music it, I mean it is for music but not for like a like a pop star music concert like Edo and thank god we didn't do that Riveria theater because that would have been way worse so thank you for upgrading the venue to Aragon and we can go to a bigger venue that would be awesome and I, I, I prefer outdoors if that could we can make that happen That'd be sweet. So yeah. So I talk about the venue, crowd, the music, the performers. Am I missing anything? And I told you how I went home, right? I think I talked about my favorite songs. Uh, what? Oh. Oh yeah, Edo closing speech. I didn't talk about that, huh? So Edo closing speech is she basically said, well, she probably said this to every venue. She said, "Thank you for coming to her war tour. Thank you for attending. She's happy that she was able to perform, and she's happy that we're here to support her." I don't think she said any of that, to be honest. Well, I know for sure what she did say is she wants to, everyone to listen to J music, J rock. I think she said J rock. Well, Japanese, mu more Japanese music and Vocaloid. I was like, yeah, because me, I love Vocaloids, dude. I love Vocaloids. I was a Vocaloid fan before an Edo fan. That's how I became an Edo fan, through Vocaloids music, right? Because I love Teddy Lloyd and Giga P. Right, and then she was calling her a guest singer. I don't know. She was a singer for one of their songs. That's how I found her. And then, uh, obviously, all her music's by Vocaloid producers. Right. My favorite Vocaloid song. I guess I could tell you that. A little bit of background. I like "Word Is Mine." "Word Is Mine" is probably because like uh, it's the first one I listened to. And it's the first one I really, really like. I think the first Vocaloid song I ever listened to is the Vegetable Juice song. I think that's a lot of people first. Uh, depending how old you are, of course. What generation you're from. But uh, you were there when it started. Vegetable Juice, dude. I can't do it. It's funny and cute. I love Miku. Okay. Um, dang, it sucks, though. The one thing I was mad about this year is they had the Miku concert. At the same time with the Edo concert. So I was like, what? Well, it's not at the same time exactly, but it's like March and April. I didn't, dude, you, I already spent so much money going to the Edo concert. I didn't have enough money to go to Miku. So next year, I want to go to the Miku concert for sure. That would be fun. Let's see. What else I want to talk about? Am I missing anything? Uh, let's see. my overall experience I guess we could wrap it up dude I talked about a lot holy crap dude that's a lot to talk about because a lot happened dude 
this is not just a one day experience like we had to get prepared we bought the ticket months before three months uh, yeah about three months before the concert and that was a crazy uh, that was a crazy show dude and uh, I'm so glad she ended with Odo oh my god that was my favorite song oh man I wish she had I wish she had the vocals and the energy to really finish it off but she was really tired it's, it's understandable but I'm so happy Ada if you're watching thank you I love you I know you get that a lot but thank you thank you for playing my it's like that's one of my favorite songs dude that's the first song I listen to Ada Odo Odo have a lot of sentimental value it's weird to say cuz it's not really a sad song it's a hype song right but it means a lot to me when I think of Ado because that's the first song I listened to when I first discovered Ado. I'm really happy she finished with Odo. I don't think it was like the regular Odo version too. I feel like it was a remix. Because they had a, like a guitar in there. So either way. Thank you. Thank you, Ado, for finishing with Odo. I, thank you for playing Zemon Zakura. I like that a lot. Thank you, thank you. Yep. So Oh, thank you. Thank you for Aishte too. I love that song. Oh my god. <laughs> Can we just say thank you to everything, right? Usewa, you know that Usewa, right? You know, just thank you for coming to America in general. Thank you. Thank you. Hope you come back. Please. Please. We all love you here. So, yeah. Closing statement overall experience. Would I say this is my favorite concert of all time? No. No, because I feel like the venue wasn't that good. The the planning wasn't that good. The buying the tickets experience was not good either. Like there's a lot of downsides going into this, dude. Like let's start with the negatives. Um the ticket buying the ticket experience was a roller coaster of emotions. And going to the venue was a roller coaster of emotions too because the security was random on who to let in who they don't let in you can't bring an umbrella oh, but she could bring that glow stick you can't things like that um and then getting the swag i had to ask that bothered me a little bit i'm not gonna lie uh the whole venue itself was it was cramp even though it could fit 5,000 people. I think they're overselling tickets, but it was, it was really cramped. You could hardly move. The lights were blinding me a lot of the times in the show. The audio quality wasn't as great as I would think in the, in the ballroom. Well, I guess I, I, got, I, I shouldn't expect much in the first place. And, um... And it was pouring raining like yeah that's the negatives with all odds against her though all odds against Edo pouring even got himself through like you know challenges at Edo bro like raining day in is near spring it's almost April it's almost April rainy day rainy cold chilly day it didn't like the planning was horrible too and yet against all odds to Edo herself of course with the help of the crew right like we gotta give it up for the keyboardist the electric guitar drummer and if there was the bass player the bass player but we gotta give it up to them too but Edo herself uh, after all those the challenges the odds she made the concert wonderful magnificent she made the concert like a d experience to like an a minus on her own just her voice and not even on good equipment that's the crazy part dude it's not even on good equipment she still she still brung she brung the entire buffet to the table dude yeah she delivered oh Oh my god, I love you, Ado. Oh my god, she's so awesome, dude. Against all odds. Like, 
for me to be like my favorite concert because I have high expectations, especially after my last concert, which is Odyssey. Oh my god, Odyssey was amazing. There was fireworks, flamethrower where you could touch my hand. Well, I could feel the heat from my hand. I'm like, I'm like miles. I want to, I want to go that far. I said miles, but I was pretty far away. I could feel the heat. And then they came in with a marching band, snare drums, doing tricks and stuff. The visual was out of this world. <clears throat> Dude, that concert, the light show is way, way better. Way better. There was way better light shows, laser beam stretching, going cross. It was an outdoor venue, so sound quality was off the roof. Bass was like, mm, mm, mm. I could feel it in my entire bones, my core, my soul. Oh. <sighs> Dude, and this, dude, this, even though the music was really loud, it didn't hurt my ears at all, but I couldn't, I couldn't hear my own voice. It was so, and then the crowd, oh my God, don't get me started. The crowd. crowd energy, amazing, everyone dancing. They, they, they coordinate, everyone put out the phone with the slow song, start swinging with the lights. And then the, when they call encore, oh, shook the entire stadium. Yet, I could say that Ado concert was almost up there, and Ado didn't have any of that. She didn't have any of that, dude. She did not have performers with her. She didn't have no dance squad. She didn't get no snare drums, right? Her light show was not as impressive. In fact, it was like a negative, in my opinion, right? All that against her. And I can still say it's up there. It's up there, dude. That's how amazing her voice is in real life. That's not, uh, yeah, that's how amazing Ado is. Like, dude, all odds against her. Oh man, I hope for the next world tour, we have better staffing, right? To plan Ado concert. Like, please, 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 please give Ado a better venue, right? Please, and then please, please, please give her a crew, right? Like a performers and stuff. That'd be cool. Give, give someone that know what they're doing. Can, can we get like the Odyssey people? Like, uh, coordinate with Ado. Like, I will love fireworks in her concert. I will love flames rising up. When top music up plays, that would be amazing. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Dude, if we can get that to Ada, dude, she would be the artist of the century. Unfortunately, it's powered by Crunchyroll. <laughs> Nothing against Crunchyroll, but I'm just saying, man, maybe that Peacock Theater in LA would be better. We'll see. But I feel like they're not gonna do that. They're just gonna do like same thing what they did in Chicago. Light shows, like, like bare minimum light shows. And uh, I guess that's it, right? But we'll see in the future, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully to give Ado what she deserves, which is everything. She deserves everything. She's that amazing. Um, Dude, I had a thought bubble in my head, but then I forgot what I wanted to say. What's the, uh, was that it? What I'm supposed to talk about? Yeah, I'll, I'll give it an A minus. All odds against Ado. Yet she still exceeds everyone's expectation. Edo is a queen. Anyway, I appreciate everyone that listened to my long, long, long story. Uh, it was a lot to talk about because it's, it was quite an adventure, <sighs> roller coaster adventure. If there was, if this was anyone else, I think I would be salty. But because it was Edo herself. She made this worth it. She made the entire experience worth it, dude. Oh my god, I'm going in another rant. Right? Uh, let's let's cut it here. It's already I'm already dragging this as long as possible. Anyway, I appreciate everyone that stopped by. Ado, if you're watching, or any Ado staff that's watching, all right? Can you tell Ado we all love her in America? She did great. We want her to come back as soon as possible whenever she feels like like this could be her this is her second home well this is your second home Edo. we love you in america 
please come back anytime please we love you and people that plan for Edo concert please don't underestimate the power of Edo please give her the venue she deserves give her a big venue right give her a good venue not even just big please give her a good venue please more cities don't just put the major cities we all love her right put put more cities out there and everyone can have a good experience and please coordinate and like giving out tickets dude like a lot of people way more people wanted to see her but it can't because the tickets sold out instantly and a lot of people are selling at scalp prices so that 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 made the experience dull a lot so please solve that issue as well anyway uh closing point thank you Ado. thank you thank you so much for performing in america and i'm really happy that your wish come true of this world tour and i as a fan am very happy to share this moment with you and experience this wonderful magical concert together thank you Ado, and thank you all the Ado fans for being so nice too this is a team effort thank you everyone all right appreciate everyone that stopped by it's been cool man i hope we get another Ado concert Ado, Ado. we gotta work on the encore guys right Ado. make sure to make the venue we gotta make her really remember that we love her Ado, Ado, Ado. Hey, no, hey, no, hey, no. All right, see you guys. Bye.